And to finalize this, I just want to highlight a couple of things about the required dose. We already highlighted in the first slides that um, each organism needs a different UV dose, a different amount of UV to be deactivated. What you will normally hear about log reductions is a way of accounting how the, the proportion of microbes that had been deactivated. Um, when you hear to talk about uh, one log reduction is, is that we are aiming to, to deactivate 90% of the microbes. Two log reduction, 99%. Three log reduction, 99.9%. Uh, Four log reduction, 99.99. Five log reduction, 99.999%. And, and like that. Um, it's important to note, you see the graph on the bottom of the, of the presentation. It's exponential. It's not a straight line. That means that the, that if, that the, the activation, the log reduction is not a proportional relation. It means that if you need 20 millijoules per centimeter squared to deactivate one log, if you need 20, with 40 you are not going to get two logs. It's not proportional. You will probably need more, more amount of UV because the, the, the higher the log, the more difficult it is to, to, to achieve that reduction. Um, so that's pretty much it. When we are sizing systems, we need to make sure we specify the system uh, by the microbe that you are targeting. This needs to be clear for us. And by the log reduction that you, you, you are targeting as well. So we need to know we are targeting Yarda, um, Chedionis, um, what microbe you are targeting when disinfecting water and at what level, at what proportion, how many logs you are you are intending to 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 achieve 